guys, Tom Way601, and today, good old Schroeder, the new Tier 8 German campaign ship, one that has a bit of a trick up its sleeve. So today, we're going to do kind of a mini review on the vessel and uh, talk about all of her stats, what commander I recommend you run, which is a bit interesting, and uh, we'll talk about this game. So, with all that said, let's dive on in. And, uh, let's first go over our build with Schroeder because this is the interesting thing. So uh, we are running secondary mod, rudder shift, concealment mod, and then the ba main battery mod. As far as the consumables go, we have damage control party, sonar. Um, you could also choose to do AA, the engine boost, or you could choose secondary battery, but we're running engine boost. And then you get the heals. Uh, you could get up to four of them. Each heal is going to heal, heal around 8,792 damage. Uh, and with four of them, you get a decent amount of health back. And you may have noticed some funny words coming from our commander because, well, we are running a Zer Lane Bismarck. That's right, folks. We're running a battleship commander because we're all about those secondaries with this ship because I'll be honest... That's the only redeeming quality I can find, and it makes it somewhat enjoyable. You, you, this is this is a ship that's going to be divisive. It's one that um, I'm probably not going to use very much. Uh, but we're running Azert Lane Bismarck with Haruna and Hipper for max secondaries. Then we have Good Day's Work, Porcupine, Wahrit, which is her unique skill, which reduces damage when our secondaries are aiming and firing. Then Master Mechanic and the legendary uh, the legendary skill we are using is Fight Fire with Fire so that we reduce the amount of burning because you're going to see we're going to end up burning a lot with this vessel. It sets on fire surprisingly easily, even though we haven't really done anything to boost its fire chance. Anyways. As far as health goes, you can see we have 59,322% torp reduction. The armor on the vessel is a bit sus. Uh, 27 millimeter bow, that's fine. Uh, kind of what you would expect for the cruiser. 90 millimeter side plating, which is great. You got turtle back, which is somewhat effective. Uh, the deck is, I think, around 50 millimeters. But I, I just can't with this ship uh, one thing to note is the rear turret is a 360 turret but the third turret from the back is a traditional turning turret and the mount that it's in forms this beautiful shell trap that is going to get you slapped so often if you try and play this kiting out which means you kind of have to play it really really aggressive but then there isn't torpedoes. They only has its secondaries. And let's go ahead and talk about those secondaries because they are the star attraction of this ship. Uh, first off, our range on them with our build, 10.7 kilometers. Compare, compare that with our concealment at 11.3. And you're looking at point, what is that? Point 0.6 kilometers difference between detection and and firing range. That's pretty great, right? Right? Additionally, uh, it's secondaries. It has 10 two-barreled 128s and three three-barrel three, three barrel 150s. And for those nerds at home who did the quick math in their head, 128 times 0.25 for court German quarter pen HE is 32, i.e., it pens 32 millimeters of armor with its small shells. Yeah. You're seeing the potential of this ship, but then it's going to get dragged down by everything else, like the main battery. Four two-barreled, 305 millimeter guns with a 16-second reload time. HE, you're looking at 3,150 with a 22% chance of HE, and the AP does 7,700. By those numbers, I feel like you're going to be like, well, it's German. I want to fire that that uh, that good old AP. I, for one, just the, the ability to pen on these has been so inconsistent. Um, 
add that with the fact that uh, the guns just tend to be a bit inaccurate. Yes, we could build into that, but the pen just doesn't feel like it's there to begin with. And this is definitely a ship that's just designed to be built into secondaries. And if I want to play a ship around like guns and stuff, uh, I could go play any other ship. So by default, we have to build Schroeder into secondaries and the secondaries perform. You're about to see an incredible clip where we're going to take on a Jean, uh, a Richelieu or Jean Bart, one of the forward facing uh, battleships and a Azuma. And you're going to see just the sort of damage that Schroeder can do. It is incredible. It is impressive. It is the best thing about this ship. But then you have to remember that XP gains, i.e. damage from secondaries, slightly nerfed in this game. And tier eight is already not exactly a money-making tier. So do you want to play a secondary focus ship at, at this tier that already sort of struggles to do damage? I don't. No, I think there's way better uses of my time. And that's the problem with Schroeder is there is, I think, way better things to do. And this continues the path that we've seen over the last little while of vessels that we get in the campaign that just aren't it, the chief, that just ain't there. Um, it's, it's unfortunate. It really is because you're going to see what we're doing right here the just stupid amount of damage we are able to do. And yeah, this is fun. Um, but by the time I take finish this engagement, I got nothing left in me. I don't got much of a heal left. I, I've taken too much damage. Um, and there's nothing else I get to really do for the, the rest of the game other than sink. I get one fun little brawl in um, and you just don't have the alpha strike to do anything. And you're gonna say, well, Tommy, you're a cruiser. You're, you're supposed to just be, you know, uh, you're, you're supposed to be high damage with low armor, with low amounts of health, but that doesn't really work when brawling. And the balance that you have to strike with Schroeder is playing in those medium ranges where we are able to do this, but you still are able to disengage. And here's the problem. Look where we are on the map to finally use our secondaries. Look, we are so far, we are at their spawn in order to use these secondaries. Um, th and that's just how most games go, right? The current play style of Legends is very much to kind of hang back a little bit. So you need to really overextend yourself in order to put any use of those secondaries because your main battery range is only 16.1 kilometers, which Ain't shit. Ain't gonna do much for you. Um, so you're gonna struggle, let's call it 60% of the time, to to do anything. And that's just not fun, right? I don't want to waste 15 minutes of my life uh, hoping that the game I get in uh, is gonna play to my advantage. I'll go play something else. There are better games right now, right? There are, there, there is better things to be done with my time than, you know, than to try and play a certain ship the way that Wargaming needs it to be played in order for it to be successful and to hope and pray that I get into that sort of match. And that's kind of where I am with, with Schroeder. Yeah, secondaries go burn. Secondaries are fun. Cool. But I didn't feel enjoyment while playing this ship very much. Frustration, probably, but not enjoyment. And that's just the sad thing. It's a campaign ship, so, you know, if you go out there and buy the Admiralty backing, at least you get all of the other rewards with it, which is probably the best thing. And maybe, maybe down the line, it will have something. But right now, like, we're going to get a decent, we're gonna get a decent hit on Zeton here. But as soon as it tightens up its angle you're not going to do much with the AP and the shells just don't want to hit the way you need them to hit. I don't know. I'll be honest. I've been playing a ton of hell divers guys and that game has stolen my heart. Uh, but this is Schroeder. Um, what do y'all think? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
hit the subscribe button. And well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. See ya.